was a little boy and he was like, oh, I change my grades all the time. This is how you did. Okay, so before I get into the story, um, let me tell you, all this week I've been dealing with Texas allergies. It has literally been kicking me in the tail, like up and down, all around. I've looked horrible. I sound horrible. Zyrtec is like the new bae. <laughs> yes, honey. That is my new bae because it's making me feel so much better. Anyhow, I got this in the mail yesterday. Now, because I didn't have my glasses on, I wasn't able to see who it was to, but for some reason, I did see an address, which was the post office address, and I thought that's who it was actually to, and I'm thinking, why would this be sent to the post office and have the post office address on it? I was like, that doesn't sound right. I was like, well, instead of me bringing it into the house, I'll just keep it in the car, and I'll just drive to the post office tomorrow and give them their box. Well, my best friend, I miss her so much and love her dearly. She sent this to me. I got a text this morning. She's like, um, there should be a delivery coming for you like really soon. And I'm thinking, I haven't received anything. Not even thinking about the box, right? Because it didn't have my name on it. I didn't know. So I asked her and I was like, you know what? I did get something. So I am going to unbox this. For all of you guys to see how special my girlfriend has made me feel. Okay, as much as I wanted you guys to see the video, somehow the video messed up, but I was able to screenshot the moments that I have when I unbox this. So thank you, BFF. Back to me being the genius that I am, or at least I thought that I was, right? I got a bad grade on my report card. Yeah. I've never been all that great in math. So there was a little boy and... He was like, oh, I change my grades all the time. This is how you do it. And like a dummy, I sat there and listened to him, right? Yeah. So I went ahead and I did everything that he told me to do. And I'm not going to give anybody any ideas of what he told me what I should do because, um, it, one, it didn't work. And two, it was the dumbest thing that I could have ever done, like, hands down, dumbest thing I could have ever done and thought that I could have gotten away with it too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I go home and, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, report cards came out today. Had my mother on my report card and she's looking at it and she looks at it and she looks at me and I'm thinking, okay, why isn't she like jumping for joy? Cause I got all A's and B's. What, what? Oh yeah. Celebration time is on its way. Not. She looked at it and looked at it again. And let me tell you. <laughs> Being that I was in the fourth grade. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I knew nothing about uh, grade point averages. So, yeah, ding dong. If you're going to change the grade, you should have changed the grade point average too, right? Duh. I didn't do that because, of course, I knew nothing about that, right? Yeah. Who's the genius now, right? It definitely wasn't me. So comment below um, the dumbest thing you've ever done as a child because let me tell you what my mom did. So as a punishment, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So you fill in the blanks. <laughs> but I tell you this, I never did it again. And oh boy, did I learn. And when I went back to school, that little boy was like, oh, hey, so I was like, plop. Mm. No, we are not friends. I don't even know you. Don't come my way. Don't even look my way. Don't even think about talking to me because I got in so much trouble. Yeah. And here I am. Still remembering about fourth grade. So, if you're a child and you're watching this video, 
changing your grade is not a good thing. No, it's not because there's ways of finding out that you changed your grade anyway. And now with new technology, because we didn't have that back then, there's probably no way you can change your grade without your parents knowing anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. So the moral of the story is, if you get good grades, you don't have to worry about changing anything. And you don't have to worry about